Hello, this is Kremis Gone Gaming. I am bringing you another house tour of a houseplans.com lot that I built in The Sims 4. This is plan number 23-2290, as you can see here on this screen. It's a very simple plan. And we will just go to the page that shows all of this right here. This is what it's supposed to look like on the outside. We'll go to that right there. And then there is a back view here um, that shows that it's just very simple. And then we'll go over here to the floor plan, which again is very simple. It has two bedrooms, a little kitchen area, and a living room, and a single bathroom. Now my one that I've made in the game is not quite like this because it's impossible to do quite that the way that I wanted to in The Sims 4. But I have made it fit in two the largest of the tiny plan challenges. So here we go. We're going to go into that and you'll see what it looks like in The Sims 4. Here we are in the game with the front of the house, which looks very similar to what you saw in the house plan. It was pretty easy to get that part of it done. As we can see, we have a, a builder guy who's been enjoying his accommodations here for a little while. He is not being uploaded. Um, I may have uploaded him before, but right now he is not being uploaded specially. Um, but he has been the instigator of this house. So here is the front of the house. Back here we can see that this is just a little different than the house plan showed. It had a single window in here. I put a window in each of the bedrooms as well. Back here we have just a little bit of uh, interest added to the house. Um, just adding some decorations. Here's a trash can and um, you know just a little extra stuff back there because I didn't want to put the trash can out front. I've added some rocks and stuff there and there's a windmill for an off-grid look to it. We have some bicycles here that he can take out or anybody that lives here can take out and they're in the colors of the house. Here's the mailbox and we would just put in a little bit of a an outdoor eating area here because it's so small inside and without having a floor this adds extra living space because we're doing the the tiny living of course and this is the largest tiny living footprint that there is and it uh, it does actually show up that way let's let's put it in here to the build mode and you can see it says you've placed 99 tiles of 100 for this tier so yay, I couldn't get it any smaller, <laughs> but I have a couple of plans that I'm going to work out, hopefully, to go into the smaller tiers. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go back into live mode, and then or live mode. I think it's called live mode. I'm not sure. I usually have called it live mode, but I think I heard this it's supposed to be live mode. All right, so here we go into the house. We'll see what it looks like. And... As you can see, it does match the, the house plans pretty much in that it has two bedrooms, a bathroom, a little kitchen area and living area here. It's pretty close. And because it's a vacation home, sort of, like, you know, it's not in a vacation um, world. It's out here in a regular world. Uh, what is it? Del Sol Valley, I think. It is uh, got two bedrooms. This one is belonging to the owner of the house or at least the one that's living here right now, who is Austin Markham. As he, again, he's not being uploaded, at least at this point. Um, and uh, over here is an extra bedroom. It's just things are pretty much symmetrical there. To get everything necessary into the bathroom in this small space and to have the doors the way they wanted them, because I like them to open from the side to another wall. I don't like Sims walking through doors to get somewhere. That just bothers me a lot. Um, I brought this room out a little bit. It has closets here. Um, this bath, this shower does work. It's one of those. I love the way that they've added this now. For a long time, they didn't have one of those, and I love that they've added it. So we have a lot of the green colors going in here. They don't match exactly, but they're close. Um, then we have some things on the walls. Yeah, just very simple. It's not really fancy. Uh, it's a summer home. <laughs> But here we have a, um, one of these pull-down beds. So if your sim goes in there, they can put the bed down and, you know, use it otherwise just as a regular place to sit and watch the TV. I love this carpet. This little extra rug that goes over the top of the regular carpeting that's in here. 
more greens in the kitchen. Cozy little kitchen. I like the way that looks. It's kind of not quite as small as my kitchen in the in-law quarters in which we live on our hobby farm with my youngest daughter and her husband and their eight children. So yeah, my, my kitchen really is slightly smaller than that in that there's not this part over here. It's, it just comes out like this and we go through it to get from one part of the house to the other. So, and here we have an actual laundry room. Yay, even in there. So I added that into the plan. Out here we have the porch with some sitting room and a nice picnic area. Let's put the roof back up again. A nice sitting area out here as well as a place so you can have people over to visit. There's a sink out here. There's a little, not refrigerator, but I put in, um, where did, oh, I put on the, on the porches because I just couldn't make them sit right out here because of not being able to put in a floor. So we have coolers out here instead of refrigerator. And basically that's it. There's a little thing that they can get in. You can go out and actually swim out there and swim out to the islands and meet with other people. Here's somebody out here swimming right now. Looks like somebody was doing some catching of things. What does that say? Set a trap. So yeah, that's, that's what this house is all about. And you could, of course, put it on any lot. This is uh, on the smallest lot in, I believe it is, Del Sol Valley. So there you go. That's all there is to this tour. I thank you for watching, and bye for now.